Yo, what's up good people? Welcome to this series where we continue the discussion of integrating M-Pesa into your web and mobile application. In this video, we will discuss how we can get credentials from the Daraja portal and we will use these credentials to go live to tell the Raja that we are now using the pay bill that they provided us for some online stuff. Uh, you might ask why we need these credentials. Remember, we are dealing with APIs. And if you start learning about APIs, you'll understand that uh, how we interact with these APIs, they provide you with an endpoint, and then there are some security credentials that are needed, uh, some authentications that you are going to send with the request. So we need these credentials from the portal, and the credentials needed for the MPS API is the consumer key, the secret key, and the pass key. If you're using Sandbox, just go to my apps here. If you click my apps, this this page will show up okay then you can click on this create new app button then you can just fill this form maybe i can just call this one and just give it any name that you want i'll just give it my name then you can you have to check all these check boxes to avoid any missing required permissions so i'll just check all of them then i'll click on create app so after creating your app, it will appear and uh, you can see this is the success message, you can just click on OK. So after I've created the app, it will, it will appear under uh, Sandbox Apps, you can see it's here. Then you can copy the consumer key here and the consumer secret from here. To get the pass key, click this APIs tab. Then simulate this m -Pesa Express API. Then in this simulator, just select your app from this drop down here. I'll select the app that I just created. And if you scroll down, you can retrieve the pass key here. If you are using a live pay bill, then getting the credentials is even simpler because you'll not have to create a, a new app, but rather you'll have to click on this go live tab. And once you click on that go live tab, you'll be taken to this page. And you just have to fill this form you can just leave this as short code then here you'll just enter the the short code and the organization name this short code and the organization and the organi organization name uh, was sent by safaricom via sms when you applied for the pay bill then you can you'll also be required to fill the mpesa username which was also sent via email when you applied for the admin account so after filling those you can just check this box then click on next step you will be taken to a page where you'll be asked to enter the otp uh, the otp will be sent to the phone number you registered with uh, just enter the otp and confirm after that your app will be created automatically and it will be listed here in my apps so if you just click this tab my apps i wait for it to load there is this drop down here uh, if you go live you'll have an option for live here so there is this drop down for sandbox and for live. So the app will not be listed in the sandbox option. So you might you might find it difficult if you are searching it in the sandbox option. So you'll have to click and select the live option. So after going the live option, you'll see the app will be created there and you'll have access to the consumer key and the secret key. But remember to integrate M-Pesa, we also needed the pass key. Uh, the pass key will be sent via email by Safaricom immediately you go live they'll send the pass key via the email so after having those three you can just save them somewhere since we'll use them in our code so yeah that's it for this video guys see in the next video i will actually write the code so peace out